an unpleasant emotion caused by the threat of danger, pain or harm. Some people are scared of heights, others fear spiders or snakes, particular foods or even strange patterns or holes. But growing up in the largest island in the world, a few things are definitely necessary. Realising that I'd never experienced Christmas in the snow and swimming. But unfortunately for me, I decided at a young age that I was absolutely terrified of swimming. While other children swam like marlins in swim class, while I replicated more of a stonefish. However, on this channel, over the past few months, I've decided to make my life a little difficult and begun trying all the things that genuinely terrify me. So to keep on brand with my strange habits, today I've decided to swim 2,000 meters from beach to beach with the slapping hands of 300 competitors, the ominous shadow of potential men in grey suits, and my crippling anxiety, which will eventually probably cause my downfall. My best ever swim was 750 meters in my first sprint triathlon, and after multiple times being slapped, clapped, and touched by my fellow competitors, I ended up finishing it. However, we did swim 90% of it doing breaststroke but a finish is a finish. Now I'm attempting to do nearly two and a half times that, but it's the same distance a triathlete will do in a half Ironman, so I guess it's good practice. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm honestly shooting it. I've done a lot of weird things over the last six months, which have put me in my comfort zone, but nothing where I've actually feared that I might fail. <sighs> okay. All my practice swims so far have been really good, but by the end of each session, I'm always having the jitters and feeling quite anxious. So the fact that none of my swims have been at two kilometers yet, it's, been, it's a big step up. Moments before the start of anything I've ever done in my life, I don't really want to do this. I've always had waves of anxiety, making me question my own aptitude to even attempt the task. The lonely walk to the start line was agonizingly long. All my worries, concerns, and negative thoughts decided to pay me a visit crippling self-doubt that reminds me of all the things that I've failed in my life. This fear of failure have always stopped me in the past from truly testing myself. But if I always sit at the start line, second-guessing my own ability to do something, I'll never get anywhere. If you never test the boundaries, you'll never know where they truly lie. Although I almost finished last, suffered a major foot cramp early on in the race, and I had lifeguards circling me wondering if I would even finish the race, I ended up doing something today which genuinely makes me proud. Throughout my life, I've never really acknowledged how hard something I've done can be. But coming out of that water, it made me truly appreciate the power of doing something new and finding out more about yourself in a few minutes than you thought you were even able to do. This to me is a sign that even though I have great fears and great anxieties about the things I do, anything is possible if I have the right mindset. If you told me this time last year that I swam 200 meters, let alone 2,000, I'd be gobsmacked. I might not swim like Ian Thorpe or Michael Phelps, but today I beat Davy Jones and I swam 2,000 meters and I can't be more proud of myself. What should I do next? <laughs>